Hello and welcome to another episode of Aussie Cigar Review. I'm Callum. I'm James. And today we've got quite an interesting... How about you just shut up, let me do the explaining. I was down in Nara the other day, um, you know, and I came across these in the server. I went in to go get Marlboros. They had the display board up seeing, um, you know, what was available. And I didn't see Marlboros. I was like, oh, fuck. What am I going to get? Then I saw this... I saw Tide. These are Tide Reds. They're, for, they're made by Richland Express, so um, might be something a bit different. Um, anyway, now, just um, one thing I'd like to add. As soon as I opened the pack, well, for starters, when I grabbed the pack, it was massive. It's quite a large pack. Um, do you want to just? Your, yeah, just I'll get There's a pack on the floor. Oh fuck! Um, I mean, it's a bit crushed, but how are you going? That's all right. Just sit it up there. Look at that! All the difference in that. That's a fucking massive pack. Yeah. Anyway. This is more or less what's interesting. <laughs> the filter is like half the cigarette. Uh, it's literally a third of the cigarette, if not more. Code is JA1. And from me smoking these, I've noticed they're actually really quite smooth. And they're only really affordable. It was like $27.50 for a 25 pack. So oh, if you're on a budget, but you're still chasing a decent smoke, it's not bad. Anyway. Now that he's finished his rant, I'm going to get into mine. Um, so the first thing I did when I grabbed the cigarette off him um, before we started filming is immediately took a took a bit of a drag, and it's really weird because even though there's so much filter there, I still got a really nice, sweet, proper hit from it. Um, now the tobacco itself, it's quite dark actually, so more along your Marlboro lines. Smell, you get a nice smell off there. Before they're smoked, anyway. And what does it smell like as a um, as a passive smoker? What does it smell like to you? Is it chemically? Or? It smells like you're having a fire in a 44-gallon drum. That kind of smoke. So but, it's just like normal smoke? Oh, uh, no, it's a bit chemically, but then again, as you said before, you didn't pay, you know, you didn't pay heaps for them. So, as always, you gotta you got to sort of smoke what you pay for really you got to take that into accountability yeah exactly you get what right. you pay for but i'm actually quite impressed with this um so far. they're not firm filters i don't think well they are quite firm. the end feels less firm than the middle bit up here does like a, we'll get you to pick them apart at the end but i think it might be a sort of a multi-filter um anyway the i don't think there's any perforations no there isn't i was just about to get to that there's no perforations happy days let's get into it oh, i've got a lighter here don't want your peasant zippo. Bitch. Fuck, it feels like I'm lighting a cigar. It's that long. And just holding it. You feel like you're holding it halfway up the smoke. That's just the end of the filter. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Now, off the bat, what do you think? Very, very smooth. Yeah, I know. Extremely smooth. Well, that probably has to be. I need to the rooster. Account. Yeah, no, extremely smooth, um, quite pleasant. Again, the taste is, I don't know, I haven't really had time to process it yet. Death drag on this one's going to be smooth. Might as well get into it, seems fucked. Yeah, you're halfway there, <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing I have noticed, that's the puppies. Um, one thing I have noticed, maybe it's just because it's such a deceivingly long filter, it looks like the smoke is burning... A lot quicker. That's Maybe an interesting point, actually. Like, obviously, they're cheap. They're not going to be slow-burning smokes. I only had a couple of drags off that, and it's already gone down that much. Um, but there is a fair bit of body to it. Like, I'm pretty much halfway down now. Like, look at that. It's pretty, pretty weird. Right, you better do the death drag. Here we go, chaps. Happy days. It feels. It almost feels like you know you see in the movies. People have like those plastic cigarette holders, like all the rich people in the old movies. They put all their cigarettes in those, you know, plastic holders that make them really long like that. That's almost what this feels like because it's so big. How, how did that go? That was velvet smooth. Velvet smooth. Watch out. We found a new favourite, haven't we? Oh, no, dude. I wouldn't say favourite. <laughs> well, it's definitely an interesting... Look, if I was to smoke budget smokes, that's my go-to. Yeah, not too bad a body. I'll just do a body test. I'm interested to see what difference this filter makes. But obviously, it's going to make quite a market difference on it because it's so big. Um, yeah, we'll get into it. That's that's half a cigarette right there. It's 
extremely impressive body on that. Mm. Really nice, soapy, stuck together nice. And it doesn't it. burn your tongue. No, it doesn't. That's definitely the filter. Which is... Geez, these are a really interesting smoke. I never thought it'd come across a dart like this that's got such a big filter on it. It's quite... Now, despite my best efforts, I haven't been able to find Shanzi's really anywhere. Yeah, that's, that's, However, a, that's another one that we've got to do. Another one, Tide. Yeah, oh, wait, no, not Tide. These are Tide. Reef. 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 Oh, I've, I've smoked Reefs before. They're not, not too bad. Um, there's another one called... Oh, I saw it at the server on my way here. Um, Cleveland. They're... Twenty-two fifty for a twenty pack. So obviously their budget again. About the same pricing as this. Yeah, so take that into comparison. We might do a bit of a little budget smoke series. I think. Hmm. How does that sound? What, what would you guys do? Do you guys want us to just find the dirtiest, cheapest smokes we can wherever we can, and sort of make you know sort of like a little budget smoke series? That. Oh, what um, we could do, is um. You know, we could always collaborate these videos into a playlist, and we could yeah. Well, that, that's what I do anyway when I add them on. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Um, something about budget smokes. However, I've come to the end. Oh, filter. Yes. Yes. Um, in did terms of the burn, cherry's, cherry's pretty decent. It's not massive. Um, did you pack these down? Yes. Yeah, so they're burning quite consistently, quite nicely. The burn on the paper is quite good. Um, I'm not going to bother showing it to you. Actually, no, I will. Fuck it. Um, burns quite linear along there. You get your lucky like, tar stains, I guess, on there. Now, I'll just add for you. Yes, for me. The backy does go down about four mils past the cork paper. Oh, yeah, I See? can feel that. Yeah, no, I can feel that. Yep. No, that's all good. Yep, happy days. This is just a really, really weird experience smoking a cigarette. Like, with a filter double the... This is pretty much double the length of a normal filter, I think. Mm. Yeah. I don't just... have any Marlboros to show you. But, um, yeah, I compared it earlier, and it was quite astounding. This really is a nice smoke. Yeah. Like, it's not. it's not, like, uh, the one I uploaded before, this was the deal, and they were absolutely filthy, but these have got the same kind of tiny hint of chemicals, but it's not, it's not so profound that you're going to, it's Come not, on. it's not really going to bother you. It's a one-piece filter. What? There's one solid filter. Holy shit, well, show it up. Show it, how it, show it how it changes. That's the... That's the um, cigarette end. It's quite long. No perforations. But... Hang on. Stay there. That's half the length of my goddamn finger. And he's got gorilla fingers. Fuck off. Yeah, anyway, so this has been quite an interesting episode. I found. I really yeah. wasn't expecting the... Smoke a dart with like we've obviously we tried the no filter with the Marlboros, and that that was it's it's definitely the filter that makes a difference. Like with these cheap smokes, the length of the filter here is definitely enhancing the flavour and making it a lot better than. What Did it could I mention be. before that? Um, yeah, it's only the filter that's longer. The actual length of the cigarette itself, the tobacco containment. That's um the same length as a normal cigarette. as a regular cigarette. Yeah. Yeah, so that's been quite an interesting interesting venture. Yeah. Uh, you, you said the code, didn't you? Yeah. J A one. Happy days. It? Um, other than that, apart from the, apart from the, there's not really much we can really fault about. This is there, apart no. from that tiny hint of chemicals. But, great body, very smooth, nice taste. Apart from that little hint you get on the exhale, really nice smell, nice dark color. What else could you Overall, want? Overall. It's cheap, affordable, this and... This has probably been one of the best budget cigarettes we've done, I oh, think. Oh, fuck yeah, without a doubt. And just as far as availability goes, like, I'd only ever seen them that one time, and that was in Nowra. Like, like as, I, as, as I was saying, I've only ever seen these Cleveland smokes at this, at the Robertson server on my way to uni. I haven't seen them anywhere else. Down at Albion Park on my way also, they've got a couple of other brands down there. One of them's Coral... Um, so yeah, you know, they're going along this fucking oceanic theme or something with their reef and coral, coral, you know, got to come up with inventive, appealing names to get us to smoke them, don't they? Anyway. Um, Marlboro didn't have to try. <laughs> no, it didn't, nor Dunhill. Anything else you want to say before we wrap this episode up? Reef, good job. Reef, tied, dickhead. <laughs> Too many oceans! <laughs> Too many ocean oh. references. 
yeah anyway hope you enjoyed the episode we'll see you soon um not sure what we're gonna do next you we'll something finish else. your diet finish your diet then we'll finish the video oh, don't sum yeah. it up so damn quick now have you noticed is it any stronger from the beginning to the end no consistent consistent very consistent it's not and that's also a good thing like some other smokes that we've had especially in the past especially the cafe crunch they're cigarillos. Yeah. They and did got, you say you've got Captain Blacks? I've got Captain Blacks in my car. Which we, we'll do those next. We'll do Captain Blacks next. Captain Black Classic. Mate, should we just do a, um, like a double? No, we'll just... No, as in like, um, we'll finish this recording. Yeah, happy And days. then we'll record the Blacks. Easy done. Right, we'll see you soon with a Captain Black review. All right. All right. Easy button. done. Yeah.